Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocketnow.com. You know, Google did a really good job with Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich. It's beautiful, it's functional, and it's fast. Which makes it a shame that the manufacturers come in and put their proprietary interfaces on top of Ice Cream Sandwich, whether that's Sense, or Nature UX, or the many, many other interface replacements that are out there. So we were really excited to learn that Cyanogen Mod 9 Beta is available for the Samsung Galaxy S3 because we've got great hardware here and finally we can get the most performance out of the device as possible without the clutter and all those extra features. We just want unadulterated Android 4.0 and we're going to show it to you in this video, Cyanogen Mod 9 on the Samsung Galaxy S3. Let's get to it. All right, let's take a look, and as is the case with all CM9 Nightlies, this is not a final release. It has a couple of bugs, but so far I have found the bugs to be not that significant. Uh, in fact, I'm probably going to use this as my daily driver now. Uh, so we turn on the lock screen, and what we see is the ice cream sandwich lock screen. Woohoo! No water droplets or crazy sounds. And what we have here is Trebuchet, which is the Cyanogen Mod 9 uh, home screen launcher, which allows you to change a lot about it. So if we go into settings here, and we go into launcher, we can change a couple of different settings here. Trebuchet is the name of it. Of course, you can install any third-party uh, launcher that you want, but right out of the box, unlike the Galaxy S3, out of the box with Samsung software, you can make folders quickly and easily, just as Google intended, which is very nice to see. So yeah, everything works and everything feels stock. Of course, as we mentioned, there are some uh, added settings here, like the ability to theme the system, make some changes to system settings. We get the performance tab down here, uh, which allows you to do some things with memory management and with the CPU. And these are all Cyanogen Mod 9 features, of course. So just kind of some, some additions. Another thing we can do, which is always great, is we can go into uh, notification drawer settings. So we can really customize uh, what's up here. We can turn on a battery percentage, um, lots of other cool stuff that you can do. Let's jump into the browser real quick. And we've actually already got Pocket Now loaded. So very good performance here, although the Galaxy S3 had pretty good performance in the stock web browser. But it's even better now because you have more RAM available, uh, less RAM being used with the TouchWiz UX Nature UI um, that, that Samsung likes to push. And one of the best parts of Cyanogen Mod, of course, is that we get the stock ice cream sandwich, just as nature intended, email app. So the email app in the Galaxy S3 was pretty bad. Uh, it, it had a confirm delete box that you could not tell to go away. So in other words, every time you deleted a message, it would say, are you sure you want to delete the message? Uh, another problem with the email app was that all of the action buttons were at the top. So you had to reach your thumb all the way to the top. And in ice cream sandwich, the action buttons are on the bottom, just like where they should be. So if you're rooted and you have a custom bootloader, like Clockwork Mod Recovery installed, Installing this ROM is as easy as transferring the file to your phone, to your SD card, and installing it uh, from the recovery. So that's it. That's Cyanogen Mod 9, and it works very well, and it gives you that unadulterated Android 4.0 experience, which is very nice. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, and thanks for watching. That's it for now.